Whitley Gilbert Wayne. I called this morning for an appointment, but some mistake, I got disconnected. That was no mistake. I hung up on you. Next person in line. Oh, excuse me. I was standing here. Well, you should be standing at the end of the line. But how do I get an appointment? Like I said, stand at the end of the line, fill out an application, a personal history, have your personal identification ready, locate the end of the line, marked by the first letter in your last name, and wait, just like everybody else. Which part of that didn't you understand? Next! <laughs> I missed you, too. Uh, <laughs> Fill that application, personal history, personal identification. Did you do it? Whitley Gilbert Wayne. Wayne. Which name will you be filing under? Uh, Gilbert Wayne. I'm a newlywed. I guess my invitation got lost in the mail. <laughs> Which is your married name? Wayne, really, but I go by Gilbert hyphen Wayne. Then you should be standing in the W line. Next. Oh, okay, Gilbert. Let's go with Excuse Gilbert, ma'am. Security, security. No, it's not necessary for all... That might be very thing another time. <laughs> Waiting here all day. Have you no pity? Have you no heart? No, but I do have a job. <laughs> Good morning, claim buster number five. Well, it looks like my wish came true. I thought you worked in the G line. Oh, I do get around. So you look lovely. <laughs> I wish I could say the same. Where's that mink? Oh, the mink. Well, it really wasn't mine. I, I borrowed it. These are my real clothes. <laughs> See, I need your help. Yes, you certainly do. <clears throat> so you're recently unemployed. That's right. Just so you'll know, you will not be eligible for benefits if your dismissal was due to any kind of misconduct in the workplace, was it? Oh, no, I didn't do anything wrong. My unemployment was a direct result of Cupmix due to recession claims officer number five. <laughs> what is your real name? Claims officer number five. <laughs> so I can assume this is an accurate account of your previous earnings? Yes, in those glory years. Well, before you can receive benefits, we have to be assured that you're actively seeking employment. Oh, I've been looking. Hi. Take a look at these sales. Oh, girlfriend, put your shoe back on. <laughs> All right, given your experience in the field of art, I have several job openings here you might be interested in. It's less like Tree pruning. <laughs> I think I need something a little more artistic than that. Pet portraits. I can possibly after the death of my teacher last November on that cold, cold die. His little feet frozen upright, his eyes, his jaws locked tight, his eyes slain. Knock up it and... off! <laughs> Virginia Road Commission. Now, what does that have to do with my degree in art? Well, they're looking for somebody to paint the lines on the highway. <laughs> can I have my money and go home, please, ma'am? Well, if you're eligible, you might be getting a check within two to six weeks. Two to six weeks? I can't possibly wait that long. Well, you'll have to wait that long if you want the money, honey. And let me tell you something else. That voice and that attitude is not going to help you get a job anytime soon. You listen to me, number five. I can get a job on my own. And I don't even need your little governmental handout. When I do get my job, you best believe it'll be one with a real future. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> 